Can you hear me? Yes, I told them they couldn't connect earlier for some reason. Can you hear me, Dr. Swami? Am I audible to you, Dr. Swami? Can you hear me? Okay. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I'm trying to go across to Dr. Subramaniam Swami. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, Dr. Swami, I can hear this is Rahul Shiv Shankar. Very quickly, what does this order... Yes, I can hear you. What does this verdict actually mean? What does this actually... I can hear you very clearly. Yes, tell us. Yes, what I, is this? you're audible to me. What, what does this actually mean, sir? Yeah, yes. I can hear you. Yes. What what this what this this what this I tell you what the what I'll tell you what it has done. Uh, when the suit came up uh, to the for appeal, the two suits of the Akhadas yes. as well as the Sunni Wakaf board. Yes. I intervened in the matter, uh, saying that they are concerned only with property rights, whereas I am concerned with fundamental right. It's my fundamental right under Article 25 to pray where faith tells me Ram was born. And a masjid is just a place for doing prayer. It can be shifted. It can be demolished. And that uh, was uh, was the uh, Faruqi judgment observations of the Supreme Court constitutional bench. So the people who felt that this would fast track the case, they made a big hoo and ha and wanted this matter of five judges to be referred to a larger bench. And today that has been struck down. That a prayer has been rejected. So now we are back whether my fundamental rights will prevail or their ordinary property rights will prevail. So therefore, my fundamental rights obviously will prevail. Fundamental rights always prevail over ordinary right. Property right to property is an ordinary right. And well, therefore, well, Justice this, uh, Nazir has uh, said uh, that the uh, uh, prayer of mine that, that the doctrine of rest judicator also bars a relook into the Ismail judgment case, sir. So can pray pro properly, which has to be accepted by the court. The Akhadas and the Ram Janmabhumi Nyas, I'll sit with them. They are they they have uh, valiantly fought this for over these years and see that we work out a compromise. Yes. No, no, this is a constitutional bench judgment. There's no res judicata. The question is the, uh, whether a larger bench should uh, reconsider it. It has happened in the past. It happened with, uh, with the Goraknath case. And people, uh, they were ultimately the 11 bench judge or a 13 bench judge sat on it. So, it has happened in the past. But there was no reason to, uh, in this case, no new point came. They just wanted it, uh, that judgment to be reconsidered and Justice Bhushan has given an excellent uh, um, set of sentences out of his judgment which show that they clearly understood the problem. So do you believe, now sir, that this judgment is, is actually a direction now that sets for the building of the Ram Temple in a speedy manner? Do you think it sets the base for that? Okay. And now we'll try others. Okay, done. No. Yes. Yeah. It is a mind sweeper. It has cleared the way. Now it's straightforward legal arguments. My fundamental rights or your ordinary rights. And obviously my fundamental rights will prevail. Set a timeline. So line. far, this argument has not been used in the lower Set courts. Set a timeline, Dr. Swami. The lower Dr. courts uh, was won only on the issue uh, of uh, whether uh, the Sunni Wakaf board had a title. It was rejected. And then, and then for a compromise, they suggested one of the domes to be given to the uh, Islamic community. Not to the Sunni Wakaf board, but to the Islamic community. And uh, now... Yeah, Yes, it's a, they came, but I brought in this new argument of fundamental right and faith, and there's no answer to it. I'm surprised nobody else thought of it so far. Well, Dr. Swami, thank you very much.